why you not doing it? You need to do that, man. You're too cold at it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, well, let, let me see what I can do with it. And I've done a song around when I was 14. It was like a rest in peace song to like a popular dude, you know what I'm saying, from around our city. And uh, like my city just embraced me, you know what I'm saying? They just was behind me ever since. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just roll with it. Wow. So was that the first song that you'd ever written, the one that you, in reference to, the Rest in Peace song? Um, I had one before that. And then uh, they, uh, the person I did the song with, he heard me. He was like, man, you can really sing. So uh, after that, that was like the first song that I ever got in the real studio and recorded. So that's why I call that one like a first, you know, like a real song. Everything else was in the closet, you know. You know, homemade stuff that we just rigged up together, but it was still, you know, rocking out around where we was from. So you mentioned, you just mentioned singing. So I heard a little bit of both out of you. How would you describe your musical style and what genre would you fall into? Um, I call it. I, don't know, I like to call it the keep mix, you know, that's what I call my, you know, anything that I do, like the keep way, anything, it's just, it's just my style, um, uh, Skip Marley got a lot, uh, influence, you know what I'm saying, I, it's like one of my favorite all-around artists, um, just, you know, just giving people the real life, the real stories, you know what I'm saying, things that we go through on daily, if it's good or bad, you know, just, bringing a different field of music. So I say, I can I can do everything all around board. You want me to sing to you, I sing to you. You want me to rap it, I rap it. It's just, you know, it's just the love of music. You know, being versatile, that's my main focus, is getting the feel. People get to feel my vibes. The key way. The key way. I want to quickly say shout out to Billy Palm Trees. Um, he calls his music jiggy music, and most artists like to just identify themselves as, you know, um, I'm a rapper. I'm a hip-hop, you know. I do R&B. I have contemporary R&B. I got a little bit of urban pop, you know. I'm an urban yeah. gospel. But nobody actually puts a name on their style. They don't make their style unique, you know, and yeah. be able to separate them from anyone else in the industry. What What? What one thing or what one ingredient would you say does make you special and sets you apart from others in the industry? Um, just my style, my the way my delivery, the way I'm gonna give it to you. You know, oh yeah, if you listen to me, oh yeah, I'm Mister Oh Yeah himself. You know, uh, just my my delivery, my style. I feel like nobody, you know, what I'm saying it, it can't be duplicated. It it it's just me. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't coming out of my mouth, nobody can help. nobody else could do that like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just the key way. That's the way, you know. Yeah, that's the vibes. I like that. I like that. What's what's a typical day like for you? A typical day? Yeah. Day. Um, D A Y. Not date. We ain't got to that part yet. Typical day uh wake up, you know. Get the vibes right and then write music. Studio. Hey, I've been in studio a lot. I'm uh, pushing out a tape. Should be dropping at the beginning of all that. Not late February. We'll be dropping. And just working. Studio to almost 24 7, you know, and, you know, kicking it with family and different things like that. So you don't have a nine to five, a regular nine to five? Nah, no nine to five, music all the way. That's awesome. Yeah, music all the way around. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, speaking of music, talk to me a little bit about um this track that I'm about to play. Official. Yeah. Uh official man. A lot of people don't believe it, but man, I actually wrote this song back when I was like sixteen years old. Been having a hook been it's just been sitting there just like you know what I'm saying just waiting on the uh the perfect beat, you know what I'm saying, and no other than Mickey Guns, you know, he make the fire track for me. And I was like, Man, this is it, you know what I'm saying? 
it's the one right here. And just roll with it. Uh, got Fredo Bang to get on there with me, you know. You know, Louisiana loves it's how we rocking. And just <laughs> wild out, gave the people our feel, you know, this our music official. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give my people official, and I want you to rock out to it. This is Brian Keith featuring Fredo Bang with official. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think these niggas official like they Make it gone, gone, that track gone, huh? stupid gone, gone. We don't fish on yet, oh, I'm official, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. niggas take technical foul, blow the whistle, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I don't write to a beat. Sometimes I get a beat, then I write to it. I really don't write music. Well, I, 
I don't know what the I don't actually write it on pen and pad or text it in my phone. It's like it, it all be in my head already what I want to say. It's like written in my head, put it like that. And I just lay it down. I admire artists like that. Like um I feel like uh, I don't even I, I don't even remember like um I th- I think my genre was like urban pop but yeah. um if somebody asked me right now just to sing a verse of anything that I wrote I would look at you stupid cuz <laughs> I don't remember yeah. anything like everything I wrote had to go down you know I had no books on no books on no books everything had to go down um but I don't, I, I just I, I I admire people um, kind of like someone who sight reads, you know, um, or they, they play by ear. They don't sight read, you know, or um, you're able to obtain the information. And it's just, that's amazing. That's, that's, not everyone's gifted that way. You see somebody with a phone, yeah. you know, now, nowadays you do notebooks, you know, you don't see a lot of notebooks, but you see everybody with a phone in the studio. Yeah, the phone. Um, nothing, yeah, yeah, nothing's like fresh off the brain. At all, so I can menu on mm-hmm. that right there. Speaking of the studio, yeah. do you prefer uh, studio work over live performances, or live performances over the studio? Uh, I prefer I, I rather live live performances. Um, it's just your people. The people get to see you and get the get the you know what I'm saying the vibe that you gonna bring because you know what I'm saying. I feel like a a recorded song. And then when you listen to a person live, you know what I'm saying, be way different than what you can hear, you know what I'm saying? So I'd rather, I'd rather be live than, you know, record. They, they both fun, though, both fun. But the live experience is different. Which song do you think that you deliver your best performance um, live so far? Um... Official gotta be one of them. Um, I have one called Official. I have other songs like Get Your Roll On. Uh, that's like my two best ones that I like. You know what I'm saying? That I get the crowd. You know what I'm saying? They they rock out with me. So you know what I'm saying? They get a good understanding of what it is. So them two songs, like really everything, everything, everything that come out. It's gonna touch you, you know. It might touch touch you. This one, this song might not touch you, but the next one gonna touch you. So it's like, <laughs> like I say, the key way, the vibe is just is gonna touch you. So you didn't really give me a classification of your genre of music, but you gave me your your musical style. Um. So I'm gonna say, um, you know, a little bit. Go ahead. You were gonna say something? Oh no, I was I was listening to you. I was saying what you were saying. Oh, so so, what do you feel is the biggest misconception that people um, have about your genre of music? Um, I guess I really I don't know. I don't I don't really get that. I don't get it. From like where I'm at, everybody, you know, saying they embrace me with open arms. Some people, a lot of people ask me what I call it, though. I mean, if I call it something, I call it hip hop rap. It's, they call it soul. <laughs> it's, that's what it's going to touch, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. Just whatever they put it at, that's how I look at it. Pop, whatever. So you don't you don't um, hear negativity um, in regards to hip hop, rap, pop. So it doesn't have to necessarily affect your music, but just the genre in general. Um, no, people think no, ma'am, no, no, no. I I don't I don't really. I don't know, I guess I block it out. I block out of anything like that. It, I don't really pay attention to it. 